Hi everybody, this is Dr. Goroyani and I would like to say a couple things about the second part of the program. After the constant movement around the Greek landscape in the first part of the program, it is now time to settle down on the idyllic island setting of Kea. Kea is, a, is an island just two hours away from Athens proper. On the island, students are given the opportunity to engage with archaeological materials and sites, directly examine the interconnections of, between craft production and performance by visiting sites, mines and quarries, engaging with the fundamentals of several technologies such as pottery production, textile production, metallurgy, beekeeping, um, food production and preparation. Students are also introduced to Greek art, architecture and literature through the readings, but most importantly, through hands-on activities and opportunities for their own performance or craft production. They also gain unique experiences and exercise their critical thinking skills um, while being grounded in the landscape and environment of this wonderful island. On the first day of the program, we are going to begin our overview of the history of the island by paying a visit to Aie Irini on the Bay of Aios Nikolaos. Aie Irini was a very busy port town throughout the prehistoric period and it was connected to all the major centers of the Bronze Age. After that, we will make the trek all the way up to the main town of the island, Iulida, where their archaeological museum is located. There, we will enjoy stunning views of the, the town and the surrounding landscape. Of course, we will visit the archaeological museum and talk about the history of the island and its major archaeological sites. Last but not least, we will make the visit to the Leon of Kea, this remarkable um, sculpture on the outskirts of the town carved out of a monolithic piece of schist. On the second day, we will continue with our examination of the history of the island by focusing on the historical periods. We will walk down to Carthea, one of the four city-states during the historical period, and we will visit the temples, the theater, and other notable parts of the town. We will talk about the formation of the ancient Greek city-state, the organization of public life in it, and the principles of Greek temple architecture and theater architecture. The third day will focus on the post-antique periods with visits to important Byzantine sites and a visit to the Folk Museum of Milopotamos for a glimpse of everyday life uh, on the island during the last couple of centuries. On days four and five, we will focus on the basic principles and technologies of archaeology. We will talk about various types of archaeological methods and data collection protocols, but also about processing and management of both finds and data. Last but not least, we will talk about ways that archaeologists use to disseminate the results of their research. On day six, we will touch upon a very important aspect of, um, of the role of archaeology, basically the preservation of cultural resources for future generations. We will hear about artifact and site conservation by a conservator, and then discuss about the philosophies of interpretation and presentation of cultural resources in museum settings. On day seven, we will discuss about ancient technologies in the archaeological record of the island. And in this overview, we will cover the basics on anthropological approaches to, techno to technology, as well as the basis of or the basics of several production activities for which there is evidence on care. Then on day eight, we will focus specifically on the production of ceramics and the technologies involved in it. Days nine and 10 will be dedicated to metallurgy and mining. 
we will visit the installations of the ancient and modern mines of Thorikos in Lavrion on the opposite coast, the mineral museum there, and also after coming back to the island, the Miltus mines in Orkos. We are going to examine the processes involved in the production of metal artifacts and think about the value and power of metals not only just in our lives, but in the lives of various peoples um, in various pe in periods of human history. On day 11, we will explore the world of textile production, and we will see a demonstration of weaving using a loom and talk about the technologies involved in textile production. Then on the last few days of the program, we will turn our attention to food production and we will explore the journey of, the, of wheat from the field where it is harvested all the way to our table. We will partake in harvesting, threshing, wheat processing, and a visit, we will pay a visit to the water mills of Milopotamos where we are going to examine what is involved in harnessing the energy of water um, for food production purposes and much more. Last but not least, we will engage with traditional cooking techniques, hear a lecture on apiculture by a local beekeeper, and enjoy the fruits of our labor by indulging in a feast, of course, prepared by ourselves. Then on the last day of the program, we will have an overview of what we have learned so far, have an evaluation, and finally, unwind and celebrate a job well done. Thank you for considering being part of such a wonderful program and looking forward to seeing you on the island.